everybody. How y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. I your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right over here on West Indian Delights, welcome once more. Thank you so much. Now today, we are going to address a critical issue or issue. I am going to practically address a curry chicken gone wrong. I'm going to show you when it goes wrong and I'm going to show you how to correct it. I had done a video just talking with information how to correct the curry chicken gone wrong. Because I can say to you all, it was since I started YouTube that I realized that curry chicken is such a sought after dish. It is really sought after even more than oxtail. And let me tell you something. I know some of you all are having a hard time with this dish. I have one that I've uploaded way back when I just started this channel. And some people, they commented, I don't understand it because to be honest, it was mostly patwa. Okay, y'all? It's gonna be a little talking. Mm, yeah, more than a regular talking. That's how I'm gonna get it over to you. Some people, they comment that, they, I don't want to hear no talking, Debbie. Just get to the recipe. I don't wanna hear nothing. I don't want to hear anything from you, Debbie. You're just talking, talking. I don't wanna hear. But I'm sorry, I've gotta speak. Because, let me get my flame down, we don't want my pot too hot. Because on this here, I'm not going to show you how to season your curry chicken. Mine, your chicken, this is not curry yet. Mine is already seasoned. We have our scallions all chopped. This is how I chop them. And you've got to go to the original. We leave the link in the description for you to go check out how we season your chicken. If that is if you want. If not, you season your chicken to your liking. Okay, so I was saying, some people said, Oh, I just want to get get to the recipe. They said I love that on the curry chicken video. I don't want to hear anything. You talk too much. And, okay, that's okay for you. You can cook curry chicken already. Or maybe you know a thing or two about curry chicken. Or you so have friends and family that can come and cook curry chicken for you. What about the persons or what about the people who want to cook curry chicken? But every single God Almighty time them cook the curry chicken it now work out he feel curry white curry pop dumb hello please right in camera girl now you've got to have some oil in your pot you need some chopped scallions you gotta you need your kettle i don't care whether stove top or electric you need some hot water not boiled water i think i said boiled water in a few videos let me correct myself hot water and boiled water are two different things We'll address that in a video. Hot water. Kettle is boiled. It was boiled already. We have peppy top back. Okay. I have about three and a half to three and three quarter pounds of chicken, which is about 1.80 kilograms of chicken inside of this thing that has been seasoned. My oil is here. That's how I do it. So I'm going to put my scallions in and we're going to get our scallions all sauteed. We're trying to get the flavor from the scallion into the oil. We're infusing this oil with our scallion. Now, this is where all the arms out begin. Yes, this is a nice curry powder. I'm, I've never cooked this curry. All right, each time I cook this curry, it is the same problem. Now, these are sauteing off to the point where we're gonna have to cook some curry. I don't have a clue, I don't know. The people have said this, that, the other. No. Look at the amount of chicken that you have. This is a good amount of chicken, okay? All right. Good curry powder. Some of them are bad, but this one is good. This is mine. Okay. One teaspoon of curry powder. And one and a half or one and, Yeah, one teaspoon of curry powder. And we have four pounds. And three, almost four pounds of chicken. Okay, we are proceeding. Flame up. Because we are going to turn over. We are burning, yes? Mm -hmm. What thing? You never cook curry yet. That the curry and smell good, you see? Nice flavor. What a pretty curry. Yes? 
the color is in here looking all pretty so we are doing the regular as i said on the original curry chicken video we are burning our scale and notice i'm doing the very same thing if you have watched it if you have not watched it yet watch it you need to go get it okay wow color pretty all right so we're burning the scallion until they become really limp you notice what is happening yeah we are burning them when they get limp all the flavors have been released we don't want them burned we just want them burnt Bur um sorry so it's not burnt to burn up but getting out the flavors when we say burn so the curry is also burning and we're getting out the flavors now let me tell you something them down a bit Camera girl, I hope you are hanging on this. And I don't want you all to be looking over here and to check in what is happening. Just look at what is happening. Over here have nothing to do with what is going to happen with this curry fail. Because you don't know, you never understand. And each time you do this, it happens the same way. Now, we are ready to put in our chicken. This is what you have. So you're going to turn in your chicken. Okay. All your seasonings and stuff. Flame up at this point, y'all, mm -hmm. to the max. Okay. Now, you're going to need to coat the chicken with this curry. Something, a little burn up curry, something. Well, let me get another. The spoon is really hot. You know, you start to turn up. Hello, this is a total curry here. Look at the color of the curry into the pot. Hello, please. This is a total feel cut of curry chicken. Camera girl, you shooting them up? Shoot them up, camera girl. Shoot them up. Failed pot of curry chicken. No color. Let's start to come more to see if anything. Because this done, you know. This, you have to say, you can't call this curry chicken again, you know. This dead. No, you cannot call this curry chicken. If you proceed to call this curry chicken, You'll be wrong. Flame down. Flame down. A failed pot of curry chicken array. Put the camera on the camera. Now you see that happen? Some people, the curry that they choose, if they put 10 pounds of heat in there, the same color that they're going to have. Bad curry choosing. We're not on that. We're going to do the video for the wrong selection of curry sometime to come. See how you know? Look at you now. The curry not have the right color where it's supposed to have in us. Yeah, yeah, go go down in there, go take out some more. This is partially cooked, you know. Remember, we were burning it, so it's partially cooked. So, you don't, you don't come down in here. And this is what I watched on a video about a month ago. The curry, the person was doing it, they did not put enough. And I watched that five times. One more spoon, it now go on. Because you made a mistake. You had two less of a curry to the amount of chicken. What you're going to do now, turn off the stove. That don't feel. Most of the times that happens to you. You don't have any more curry or you don't want to put any more curry or you try to put some more curry. Let me show you the correct thing to do. Because, hello, shoot them up camera girl. The rice is over here waiting on the curry, you know. So this, this, cur this color could never go with this. To talking about you doing cur um, curry chicken and white rice. This is a no. Feel pot almost there to say that day. So we're gonna proceed to resurrect this pot of curry chicken. This is a partially cooked curry. Hello, please. You're gonna get your flame up right over here. Okay. You're gonna need a little more oil. You're gonna need a little oil. Quite a little one dry to come on. Okay. Don't make this thing, make it get the right color now. But I go back there now, go put a bag of stupidness and all of them something there. You need now to, that is what's just stupidity. Okay. You're correcting it now. So you put in one and you're going to put two and you're going to put about two and a half of this. Because originally you should have put about three tablespoons of curry in the oil but you didn't know so it happens like that all the time so this is a failed pot of curry but it can be corrected you don't have to throw it out somebody commented and said debbie every god almighty time i cook the curry 
he feel. But that's a fair choice. Where the hell if you go get money from for go buy more chicken? Well, in Jamaica you could not. It's really hard. So we have about that here and we are gonna burn it. Let's get popping in the kitchen. Now remember I told you, you know, get to supposed to over this up and get to supposed to have boy. This is the nature of the curry. Okay? It has want a little more oil. Let me put a little more oil. It has a little like a, a, they put in some of these curries they put um something to give it body. I don't think it's cornstarch. Maybe some people use cornstarch, but not. Not everybody uses cornstarch. Huh? This is how you correct it. More curry, but you have to go burn it and cook it partially again. Okay? You've got to burn it. Let's turn our flame down a bit. You see what is happening? It's frothing. You know? This is what it does when you're cooking it. When it starts to froth, you rate your start to the curry. Look at it, y'all. Look at it. The curry start to cook. So you burn this curry. Meanwhile, burning it, you put in some pressure because it has a little um sediment line. So you're burning it. And you gotta burn it, and we go and burn it for another five minutes straight. So when we come back, you'll see what we burn curry look like, and we go and correct this curry chicken gone wrong. Okay, y'all. So now you have your, your curry burner. You see it? So we're coming right over here, and we are going to scrape all of this partially cooked curry inside of this other one. So everybody is in one accord. Flame up. We have partially cooked curry right there. Two partially cooked curry. So we are going to, in, we are going to incorporate the curry. Something they know. This curry thing here in the chicken. Watch we know. Look at this y'all. This is the color that you have been looking for. But you got to let everything get all incorporated. You know, want some white that you see what going around there, sir? Okay. You see what's going on around there, sir? Some still not coating. Please to coat it and do not fill the pot of water. You're going to coat up this curry chicken on an I eat. No, it look like we start curry fowl. One pot of curry chicken gone wrong. We have just corrected it in front of your eyes. Look at the color. No. Hot water. Yeah, boy, if you lose another curry, I know. Flame up. We're going to rinse out this little pot here with this little niceness. Hot water, right here. You're gonna put a little more, but you're not going to throw it onto the chicken. You're going to throw it because let me throw it. Each time you throw the curry, the water on the chicken itself, that piece of chicken get white and it's held to get it back coated. Now we're coming right back over. I hope you're all in, you know. I hope you're all in on this information, y'all. Look at it, y'all. Hurry ready. Hurry turn up. Hurry pretty. Look at it. You are going to know to cover and you're going to reduce your heat to medium. Okay, y'all? Medium or a little less than medium. You are gonna be constant. You must be paying this pot of curry chicken, man. You have at least 25 minutes before now it's properly cooked. You, that one was partially cooked. Never work out. Burn some more. Everybody depends on the same level. Therefore, that curry cannot, will not give you diarrhea. Somebody commented again and said, Lord, Miss Debbie, God bless your man. God bless you, please, and th no, thank you, please, ma'am. Because I paid the price of the curry, raw curry, five days straight. I don't know if I did not ask it all the way, but he said five days straight. In seeing Savior at the crowd, you know how long you want to call to him, Savior, I couldn't call to him because of this curry here. So, this is curry chicken gone wrong, and I am correcting it to show you practically, okay? We could also call this um, two less of a curry as I said to you and you are correcting it. So now look at this medium You're leaving that on this. Look at it. Okay, because let me tell you something you want it to 
cook. Eh? And then as soon as you see this water drying out, you pour a little more now into this pot. You're going to leave this spoon into some hot water. Because, put the camera on me, because some of the curry inside here might not be, you know, properly cooked. Remember, it was just partially cooked. So you leave the hot water on it. Make it stay in the hot water. And then not much is in this, you know. But you always leave the curry spoon in some hot water. Okay? So now, a little at a time, a little at a time. I am not going to come back. You go and check the curry chicken video, the first one that has been uploaded, and see how we do it a little at a time until your curry is properly cooked. Do not fill the pot with water and leave it boiling, boiling, boiling. You need, when the curry is properly cooked, to have a body. The chicken must be firm, intact. Please do not leave the pot filled with water boiling, boiling, bubble, 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 like you're making a rhythm for, 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 to, to build a rhythm for some music, y'all, okay? And then when you come back, the curry color is there, but the chicken fall apart, fall off of the bone. Unless you want pulled curry chicken, I don't know, but if you want, no problem. But if you want curry chicken, standard curry chicken, a little water at a time, a little water, and over a period of 25 minutes on the medium heat, you will have perfect curry chicken every single time. Okay, y'all? When we return, curry chicken not failed. Okay, now, family, I've just turned my curry chicken flame off. What you can do at this point, you can leave it to simmer. Look at my curry gravy. I told you, some of these curries, they are fitting agent in there. I think it is breadcrumbs. I, if I'm looking at this, and I think I've, I've looked at it other times, other curries, I think they've used some breadcrumbs to thin. You don't need, as long as you put enough curry, you don't need to mix some cornstarch to put in the curry. It is going to change the color of the curry. Some people use Irish potato. If you use Irish potato with this, it's going to be really thick. I honestly, I don't like Irish potato in curry chicken. I like it in curry mutton and in pork. But if you so choose to do it, go ahead and get your consistency. Now, we can have some serious curry beef gone wrong too. We are going to correct that in another video. And also, we are going to do curried pork, curry cow skin, curry cow foot, curry pig foot, lots and lots of curry. And we're going to start a curry thing going on right here on the West Indian Delights cooking journey. So now, rest down a little curry gravy ready. That's how I like my curry gravy. Now, perfect way to serve your curry every single time. Not to get too much of a mess, squeeze out the excess gravy. Yep. Pretty color every single time, man. You notice me not have no pulled chicken? Mm? I said to y'all, monitor your chicken. Now, if you want gravy, most people want the gravy and the rice. Then they want the gravy and the plate that's what they're all about. For presentation, also, this is a curry dish and you can put as much as you like some people want them curry water away all over you know they just splatter over them rice do what you like do as you please as you please suit yourself now let's get a little bit of cleaning going on do not dish the curry and let you have the gravy of the curry running all over the plate it does not look appealing y'all let me try to fix this. Okay? If you so don't want, you can probably even put the curry chicken by itself in a little container and then you serve the rice and what have you in another. But, family, it does not look appealing when you take and splatter out all over the place. Okay, y'all? So let me present to you. 
from my kitchen to yours from my Jamaican kitchen to wherever you are it's a curry chicken failed and I've corrected it it's a failed curry chicken or better yet two less of a curry chicken we corrected it this is how you would correct your curry this is from my kitchen to yours please do enjoy happy curry cooking y'all remember if you have liked this if you so think it deserves a thumbs up you can do so remember to subscribe if you have not yet if you have not yet done so remember to hop on right over to the jamaican debbie debs we are going on we're talking pat where we're sharing we're doing everything okay y'all so remember to join us over there if you so like and when you do you subscribe remember when you subscribe to any of the channels remember to hit your bell okay so that you can get in now we are almost there with the buns maybe the next video is going to be a bun keep your notification on i say to you all bless no stress